Let's get started. So my first question for you is that uh, there is a lot of people who actually say that X that XDC might be the Ethereum killer. So it's a very popular sentence. Do you actually see uh, some flaws on the Ethereum blockchain? And if so, how true is the previous affirmation? Do you really believe that XDC has the potential somehow to replace uh, some of these smart uh, contracts uh, features of Ethereum? Yeah, so... Yeah, so usually when people talk about XDC being an Ethereum killer, uh, they talk about XDC having a lot of technical features that are higher or that are more performative than uh, Ethereum, typically like uh, faster uh, faster transactions and higher TPS, uh, cheaper transaction fees, uh, stuff like that. Uh, but one of the biggest things that usually gets a little bit underrepresented is a lot of activity that persists on XDC uh, that doesn't necessarily persist as much on Ethereum. We see a lot of retail trade and a lot of retail instruments in terms of like DeFi, meme coins, and stuff like that uh, on Ethereum. Uh, and we see more of like a trade finance, uh, more centered, uh, you see more of a trade finance centered conversation on XTC. So when people talk about XTC being the Ethereum killer, there's this idea of being able, being able to take over these other industries that XT, that Ethereum may not be able to because it may not have the performance for it, uh, as well as uh, being able to tackle those industries before other blockchains have been able to as well.